This is session 3 of our Road to Qur'an Mastery series. So far we've discussed two skills of Qur'anic Med, Natural Med, and Med Muttasil, and Med Munfasil. And today we'll talk about another skill of Med, which is strongly related to both of these two types of Med. Today's topic is Med Asila, or Linking Med. So let's get started. Now let's start by knowing what med al actually means. The simplest definition for the linking med is that it is a type of med that occurs only between words. So this med is neither part of the first or the second word. So it only happens when you link between the two words. In other words, if you stop at the first word and start at the following word, there will be no med at all. So how does it look like then? There are only two symbols for the linking med. U and E. And these symbols should be familiar to you, since we've seen them before with the natural med. But this time they're not part of the word, but rather they will only be visible between words. So this is natural med that must be extended for to harakat at all times, happening inside the word. And this is a linking med, which occurs only between words and will be pronounced only if you're linking between the two words or continue reading. And when the linking med happens, you will extend it forward to haraket. Now let's have a look at some examples to see the effect of the linking med. I'm gonna start with two examples, one with and the other without a linking med, so that you can hear the difference. As you can see, the first example contains a linking med right here, and the second example contains the same word, but without a linking med. Let's find out how they sound like. وَمَا أُهِلَّ بِهِ لِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ فَأَحْيَا بِهِ الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا وَمَا أُهِلَّ بِهِ لِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ فَأَحْيَا بِهِ الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا So for the first example, we said بِهِ with an extension of to حركات because of the symbol of the linking med. But in the second example, we said bihi without any extension because there is no sign of a linking med. One more example. Notice here if we stopped at the end of this word and then we started at the following word, there won't be any linking med. And we would say, فَلْيَدَعُ نَادِيَهِ سَنَدَعُ الزَّبَانِيَهِ So there is no linking med when you stop at the first word and start at the following word. Linking med is only there when you link up between the two words. So linking med is extended for to حركات. However, if the first letter of the following word is a hamza, then this sign will appear on top to show you that you have the option to extend it for for harakat, like the med munfasil, like in this example. إِذْ قَالَ لَهُ رَبُّهُ أَسْلِمْ As you can see, there is two linking med, one after the other. The first one, it is a normal linking med without extension. But the next one has the med sign on top of it because the following word starts with a hamza. So you have the option to extend or not to extend. And this is how it sounds like if you choose not to extend. إِذْ قَالَ لَهُ رَبُّهُ أَسْلِمْ One more example. أَوْ بِهِ أَذَمْ مِنْ رَأْسِهِ فَفِدِيَهِ And without the extension of the linking med, you would say 
أو به أذى من رأسه ففدية. So linking med is a type of med which happens only between words. You extend it for two harakat, just like the natural med. And if the word that comes after it starts with hamza, then you'll have the option to extend it for four harakat. Now it's time to have the recitation of today's lesson. We'll be reading from Surat Al-Baqarah. You'll notice that the linking med will be highlighted with a different color. And towards the end of the recitation, the linking med will no longer be highlighted for you so that you'll have the chance for yourself to try and apply the rules that you've learned today. لِلْفُقَرَاءِ الَّذِينَ أُحْصِرُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ لَا يَسْتَطِيعُونَ ضَرْبًا فِي الْأَرْضِ لا يستطيعون ضربا في الأرض يحسبهم الجاهل أغنياء من التعفف تعرفهم بسيماهم تعرفهم بسيماهم لا يسألون الناس إلحافا وما تنفقوا من خير فإن الله به عليم الذين ينفقون أموالهم بالليل والنهار سرا وعلانية سرا وعلانية فلهم أجرهم عند ربهم فَلَهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ الذين يأكلون الربا لا يقومون إلا كما يقوم الذي يتخبطه الشيطان من المس ذلك بأنهم قالوا إنما البيع مثل الربا وأحل الله البيع وحرم الربا فمن جاءه موعظة من رب به فانتهى فانتهى فله ما سلف وأمره فله ما سلف وأمره إلى الله ومن عاد فأولا أصحاب النار هم فيها خالدون يمحق الله الربا ويربي الصدقات والله لا يحب كل كفار أثيم إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وأقاموا الصلاة وآتوا 
وآتوا الزكاة لهم أجرهم عند ربهم لهم أجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون. And now it's time for the challenge questions of this session. Today's questions will be from Surat Al Imran. First question He sent down to you the book with truth. Confirming what came before it, and he sent down the Torah and the Gospel. The second question As for those who disbelieve, neither their wealth nor their children will avail them anything against God. These will be fuel for the fire. Were you able to find the correct verses that correspond with these translations? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something new today. If you did, please like and share the video for other people to learn from it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in session 4.